What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I have a pretty cool opening for you guys. It is a mystery box from eBay. All Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I have no clue what's in here. The seller was pretty awesome. He kept in contact with me the whole time and made sure I got the box here uh, and told me when it was here. So I'm going to put his link in the description below. Shout out to that guy. He's pretty cool. And um, I'd like to thank all the people for subscribing once again. It's really awesome to see you guys subscribe to the channel and, you know, put those comments in. And today I brought a trusty pair of scissors, so then we will not be manhandling the box, which <laughs> apparently I do. So let's get into this opening, shall we? All right. So I've never opened a mystery box for me to eBay. I do not know what to expect. The guy said it's pretty cool that I'll enjoy it. So let's see if it was worth it, guys, right? That's always that's always what you want to know, if, if it's worth putting the money into. I always feel like if you have a good time, then it's worth it, right? So this box is supposed to have some pretty cool stuff in it. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, right off the bat, this box is packed to the brim with stuff. Holy moly, we got a... Wow, an Order of the Spellcaster structure deck, just right off the rip. Another, oh my gosh, a Generation Force Special Edition. Holy, holy moly, this guy wasn't kidding uh, with the stuff in here. And then he put some packs in a rubber band. Okay, so we got Code of the Duelist, Fist of the Gadgets, Legendary Duelist Sister of the Roses, absolute fire set, Eternity Code, Another Generation Force, a Chaos Impact, and a Mystic Fighters booster pack. So that's that's pretty cool. Those are some pretty cool packs. We got another structure deck. Another a mock mechanized madness. So this is the Machina stuff. Wow. Man, this guy was not kidding with the stuff he sent. And we got some sleeves. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna link this guy in the description. This is awesome. He did a really good job with sending this stuff. Uh, it's packaged nicely. Uh, he kept in contact the whole time and he gave you some stuff to start off some decks and maybe even sleeve them and get them ready for playing. And so we've got a bundle full of cards right here. We'll go through this in a little bit. Um, what else do we got in here? Oh, he sent us a promo card, the Harpy Queen promo card. What a cool guy. Honestly, I love this promo card. Actually, such a good guy. Yeah. Man, man, I really like this. And so what else do we got in here? We got some Speed Duels packs. Uh, I don't really know what to expect out of these ones. Uh, we'll see what we get. Oof, I'm going to have to tell him, man, the rubber bands. I don't know about those, but everything else is looking really good. He also sent us a deck box, which is really cool. Really nice. Uh, two deck boxes, actually. So you got a purple deck box and a clear white deck box. Man, this is awesome. Uh, and then we've got some sleeved up hollows. So I wonder what we got in here. They're in a rubber band. I see a starving venom fusion dragon right off the rip. So that's a that's a pretty cool cool one. And then the rest of it, since I opened it from the back, is just packaging to protect all the cards so alrighty so I'm gonna cut the video real fast and we're gonna move into the pack opening part alright guys we are back to the pack opening section of the video and looking through these pretty cool cards so this is what we got for packs we got code of the duelist fist of the gadgets uh, legendary duelist sister of the roses eternity code generation force chaos impact mystic fighters three speed duels packs a special edition of the Generation Force. So we got a lot of packs to open, but before we open those packs, let's look at the cards he sent us. He sent us some bulk commons, so you know, we might get some cool stuff in there. So let's see, we got Evil Eye Reemergence, a Code Breaker, Virus Swordsman, this looks like a lot of Eternity Code stuff. Uh, Flourishing Frolic, Buzzsaw Shark, uh, Super Heavy Samurai, this looks like an Eternity Code box, just uh, thrown in here but that's that's completely fine commons are always useful so we got lots of eternity code commons uh there we go a dimensional fissure that's a pretty cool card i like that card uh cyber kieran a rare banisher of the radiant <laughs> this guy is actually really cool 
Uh, I really like this guy. Um, Whirlwind Weasel, E-Emergency Call, a.k.a. Reinforcement of the Army for uh, Heroes. Uh, Drag Down Into the Grave, awesome card. Sukiyomi, another awesome card, was on the ban list at one point, not anymore. Uh, Final Countdown, now, maybe I'll start my Mystic Mind uh, stall deck. They, uh, the guy who just won the Quarantine series played Mystic Mind uh, deck with Final Countdown. That's actually pretty, pretty fucking awesome. Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, Despair from the Dark, Iron Blacksmith Kotetsu, some Sakuretsu Armor, Legendary Flame Lord, Arisen Guy of the Fierce Knight. Hey, that's what I like to see. Guy, I love Guy of the Fierce Knight. I'm actually going to be building that deck. We got a. Looks like a Sacred Beast Structure deck right here. All right. There's some pretty good staples in there. Opening of the Spirit Gates, Fallen Paradise. Ooh, set rotation. Man, he... Ooh, a one for one. That's a good one. Owner Seal, Field Barrier. Mistake, so it's just a whole Sacred Beast Structure deck right there. So for the commons, I would say that was a pretty good common you know, uh, bundle. Like, he gave us some really good comments. He gave us one for one, the Pot of Desires, the Pot of Avarice. So, yeah, so for the Hollows, we got Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. See if that'll focus. I'll put a thing over Larry's face just so he uh, <laughs> doesn't get it focused on the camera. So, we got Starving Venom Fusion Dragon Hollow, Brotherhood of the Firefist Bear, Sub Terror Final Battle, Defcon Bird, Swap Cleric. Code Talker, Shooting Code Talker, Sub Terror Fiendus, Amorph H Sloth, really good card. Uh, Elemental Hero Chaos Neos from Battles of Legends, a Raw's Disciple from Battles of Legends, a Neos Alias from Battles of Legends, a Dark Flare Dragon, pretty cool, a Uriah, Haman, and a Raviel from the Structure Deck. So we got the complete Sacred Beast Structure Deck, as well as the other two Structure Decks, a Blue Eyes White Dragon, a Maiden with Eyes of Blue. A Dark Magician of Chaos. This is a pretty nice looking one. Ooh, I like that. A Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Nice. A Thunder Dragon Colossus Band, but still a good card. Trap to Xera. Dragon's Fighting Spirit for a Secret. Archfiend's Manifestation. A Fire Formation 10 Key and Hollow. A Mech Knight Blue Sky. Nice, nice, nice. Really nice. Uh, Lord Gaia the Fierce Knight. Exodia the Legendary Defender, a Secret Salaman Great Foxy, a Thunder Dragon Hawk, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Alrighty, so yeah, some pretty good pulls right, right off the bat with these super, uh, secrets and supers this guy sent. He sent some really good cards, honestly. Uh, if if I was to get this, I would be happy. I mean, if I was if I was just not recording this video and I was to just buy this right off the bat, this would make me happy for the money I spent. Like he he definitely sent more than what I anticipated getting. So we got the Mechanized Madness Structure Deck. If you don't know what's inside of it, I'll put this to the back. You can pause the video and read the back. And there you go. Also the Order of the Spellcaster Structure Deck if you don't know what's inside of it, here you go, to the back. You can pause the video and look at that. So that's the Endymion and the Machina Structure Deck. That's pretty cool. So let's get right into those packs, dude. These packs are uh, what are exciting me. So let's rip open these Speed Duel packs because uh, I really don't know what's in these Speed Duel packs and I don't really expect much out of them. So we got Insect Armor with Laser Cannon, Magical Plant Mandra, Spellbinding Circle and Dra Drac Tyrannus. What an absolute beast, Drac Tyrannus. Not good at all, but still looks pretty cool. Uh, here we go, into the Speed Duels Kaiba pack. I see these ones for like $2 all the time. Uh, slushy. Water Hazard. Big Wave, Small Wave. I remember when this card actually used to get played. Such a different time. Oh, and Zombina. Uh, we got a holo from the Speed Duels pack, so this is a really nice one. I actually think this is a kind of playable holo, so there we go. We got a holo from the Speed Duel packs, and we got one more Speed Duel pack, and it's going to be that Joey Speed Duel pack again. Let's open that one up. Pendulum Machine, Fighting Spirit, 
Eternal Rest and Dequichi, the battle en battle chanted locomotive as a hollow. That's actually it's actually really nice. So two hollows out of the speed duels packs. I love Dequichi's uh, artwork. He looks really awesome. Next up, let's let's get into one of these one of these amazing packs right here. Since we got so much Generation Force, let's let's open up Generation Force. I've never opened up Generation Force, so. We'll find out what's inside of Generation Force right here, right now. Okay, if I could even open it. So maybe I'm failing at opening a pack. Is this like got to be opened a different way than other packs? There we go. So Wind Up Dog, Elemental Hero Flash. Burgeoning World Flame, Acha Cha Archer, Fish and Swaps, and Girgino, Explosive Urchin, and Gusto. Nothing, nothing out of that Generation Force pack. I wasn't really expecting much out of that Generation Force pack, to be honest. Uh, I think it's an older set, so it's not guaranteed a hollow. So let's let's actually just crack into the Generation Force Special Edition then, because that. That sounds like fun, and I know it's not guaranteed a hollow, but if we hit a hollow, like, that would be pretty awesome. So I'm going to absolutely manhandle this box like the viewers say I do, and rip it open like a monster. We get a promo card, so let's see what the promo card is. I don't know what they are. It's probably on the back of the box. Here we go. Spore, the mighty Spore promo card. So it's a one-star tuner plant monster, so it can... Be one for one. Also, it could probably be someone with Hockey Fibrax. So, there you go. There's some cool combos for you. Good. Go use those in a duel. Anyways, back to the Generation Force uh, opening. Here we go. Let's get into these Generation Force packs. I don't know why this one was so easy to open. The last one was super hard. Maybe I'm just weak. Uh, so, Vylon Filament. Wind Up Soldier. I love Wind Up Soldier. Treaty on Uniform, Go 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 Golem, good card, Wind Up Magician, <laughs> Wind Up Dog, Elemental Hero Flash, <laughs> Burgeoning World Flame, and Acha Cha Archer. So, yeah, Go 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 Golem, absolute fire monster. Love that guy. Can't be destroyed by battle. What a, what a beast. Better than Spirit Reaper. No, just kidding. Spirit Reaper is actually the god of not being destroyed by battle. Next to Marshmallow. All right, on to the next one. So we got Overwind, Master of the Flame, Dragon Swords, Aqua Jet, Drill Barnacle, Oh Fish, and Elemental Hero Flash, and just some more wind up stuff. So Elemental Hero Flash, pretty cool. Don't really think he does much because he's never played. So unfortunate. I think he came in a hollow at one point and like they just reprinted him. Apparently he didn't, uh, just been told. So, let's see what we got here. We got Girgino, Explosive Urchin, Wind Up Soldier, Phantom Magician, and Jawsman. And no hollows out of that Generation Force. That's a little, that's a little upsetting that we didn't get a hollow out of any of the Generation Force. That was four packs of Generation Force, but beggars can't be choosers. So, on to the next ones. We got Eternity Code, Legendary Duel, Sister of the Roses, and Fist of the Gadgets. I actually want to open Sister of the Roses. I know this pack gives me amazing luck. Let's go. Lieb, Perfumer, Special, Urgent Schedule. Is it Urgent Schedule? I'm pretty sure it's Urgent Schedule. Uh, all right. Harpy Queen and a Harpy's Feather Storm. This is a very good card to get. So if I got a super, I would absolutely ask for Harpy's Feather Storm every single time uh, out of the set because Harpy's Feather Storm just says no with Winged Beast Monsters on the field or a Harpy deck. So let's get into that Eternity Code. I think this will be a pretty fun pack to open. Uh, let's get that Axis Code. Come on. Fourth Axis Code pulled. Let's go. Proxy of Magician, Stairs of Mail, Golden Air, and a Witchcrafter Unveiling. So no Axis Code, just a Witchcrafter Unveiling. I think I've opened about like 50 of these, so unfortunately not something I need. On to the next. Sorry about that lighting. Uh, it's a little bright in here. 
Let me focus that camera. So we're going to go into the Fist of the Gadgets and also have no clue what's in here. So we got Defcon Bird, Brother of the Fire Fist Spirit, Yellow Gadget, Gold Gadget, and Fire Formation Dome. So, Dome. And anyways, when this card is activated, you can ritual summon one beast monster. Beast warrior ritual monster. Okay. I didn't know Fire Brotherhood the Fire Fist had uh, ritual monsters. Guess they have one ritual monster. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't play them. I don't think I'll ever play Brotherhood the Fire Fist, so I'm just going to stick to the Ancient Warriors. Now we're going to get into Code of the Duelist. All right. FA Circuit Grand Prix. Boogie Trap. Jane and Mrs. Radiant. Um, yep, Mrs. Radiant. So we're on to the next one. Vendred and some Perry Knights. Perry Knights, pretty cool card. So we got two more packs remaining. We've got Mystic Fighters and Chaos Impact. Uh, let's get into the Chaos Impact and save Mystic Fighters for last. I absolutely love Mystic Fighters because it has the generator cards in it. So I'm hoping, you know, we pull Mardell. Cho Bam, Abominable Unchained Soul. And then Evil Eye of Gorgonio, which is kind of a bust. We don't want to see Evil Eye of Gorgonio. We want to see those Starlight Rares, am I right? Like, who doesn't want to see a Starlight Rare? Actually, we just got done opening a Rise of the Duelist. And my friend uh, Jerry opened up a Starlight Rare uh, DD Crow after he just opened up the Astral Utopia. He's actually probably going to bring it over and we're going to get to see it. So it's a little treat to you guys for uh, for no Starlight Rares in the video. Oh no, DD Crow just died. Um, here we go. So this is the Starlight Rare DD Crow from Rise of the Duelist. If you haven't seen it, well, you've seen it now. Isn't it amazing? It's so shiny. I love it. Now, uh, put a top loader on it and have your whole deck in top loaders and you'll be able to play it. So, anyways, on to the next. Dragon Maid Earnest World Legacy Guard Dragon Mardark. I actually had a guy in the comment section tell me that he plays this in Generators. Um, it's a cool card, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't personally play it in Generators. I'd rather just play Nightmare Incarnation Italy because she can protect the whole field. So... Anyways, Jinzo, my man, this guy is getting his structure deck soon. Well, not his structure deck, his his cards printed, but hopefully he gets a structure deck one day. Uh, if a Jinzo structure deck ever goes up for vote, you guys better vote for it, or uh, I will come and mind crush you like Yugi. So, anyways, on to the next, Brotherhood of the Firefish Dragon. And Kitchen Dragon Maid, this is one of the cards that you want to pull out of here. Holy moly, we got a Kitchen Dragon made out of the Mystic Fighters. That is a absolutely good pull. Like, that's that's crazy. So, that's one of the Dragon Maid cards that you want to see out of Mystic Fighters. I'm failing to sleeve it right now. There we go. Kitchen Dragon made. Really good card. Probably the most expensive card uh, in the Mystic Fighters set. Uh, so, yeah. Really good. Really, really good. So, all together, I would say, man... With the Harpy promo, the two structure decks right here, the Mechanized Madness and the Order of the Spellcasters, these two deck boxes, and all those cool packs that we got to open, the bulk of commons, the bulk of hollows, and a thing of sleeves. Man, I am failing to pick up these cards. Look at me, guys. Come on. What am I doing? I am out of it today. Okay, so the bulk of hollows. Here we go. This big bulk of hollows and the bulk of sleeves. I would say this is absolutely worth it. So I'm going to put their link in the description below so you guys could check these guys out uh, and maybe order from them because it felt like absolutely worth it. I am really happy with what I got. Uh, and yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.